Recently, I found out that a lot of guys dealing with Ukrainian, Russian, Belarus women, they have a lot of problems with the message from those women. They don't know if it's a scam or not. They don't know if they have to send some money or not. And me, I don't have any of those problems. So why? I will reveal all my secrets. The first type of communication that you are receiving on your email box about love, woman wanting to meet you and start a relationship with some photo, all incoming message non-solicited on your email box is 100% a scam. So you don't need to open it, you put this in the trash and that's all. But now you will tell me, I like Ukrainian, Russian, Belarus women, and I am communicating with them on different application site, and I'm sending a letter in intro with my email, and so of course I'm waiting some answer. So tip number one, you choose another email. You start to understand that the solicited woman, the one with whom you want to be involved, are sending message on the second email. So you can sort out the real usual scammers that send a lot of shit on your email address from the woman from whom you are waiting an answer. There are three types of scammer. Three. The first one is trying to get you out from the dating site. So you will land on an email, generally a Gmail, and they just want you to enter in the queue, in the file, to make some batch processing. Because they want to have 100, 1000, 2000 or more if they can, potential victims here, and so they can make batch processing to send tons of message and of course among the 1000 and 1000 potential victims one two three will answer and start to send some money and this is exactly what they are expecting for so you will find on the dating application site a lot of new women woman or we don't know what it is if it's a real woman of course and we, they will try to get you out and after they will be moderated and they will disappear. So one thing is maybe to not answer right now and to wait one week before answering and you will see if the profile is still existing. And anyway, you just answer, no, no, I'm fine with my dating application, just write me here. And if nobody is answering you, so you have your answer. It's just batch processing scammers. Number two, the individual one. And you try to set up a more personalized communication with you. Which means that they could wait for weeks or for months to make their move. But the move will be not necessary to ask you directly some money. They will make some introduce to focus on special situations that there are problems with gas, problem with a brother that had been at war and is now at the hospital and so on. Most of them we name them Fat Yuri as insider. They are likely to live in the former Soviet Union, do this by themselves or maybe in small team. With those people, the goal is not necessary to try to scam you online, but some are hoping you to come and the scam will start when you will be in the country. So be careful because maybe you will think all is okay, online I don't see anything, you go and the scam will happen after. This type of, so you will find them, wait a few seconds, I will explain you the third type of. The third type of scammers is included and embedded in the dating application in the marriage agency because you have tons of professionals answering you. That's not women, that's professional paid on a nightly and daily basis. They work all the time, 24 hours, to answer you. It's an animated site. And what should catch your attention is the level of incoming message, the volume of message. So if you are for one week on this new major agency dating application and you get 100 
even 50, it's a lot. 100, 200, 200 incoming messages. And especially if you are online, you should be very cautious. Yeah, because simply Russian Ukrainian women are very rarely likely to contact you first. But now you still haven't get my secret. And the secret is you don't have any relationship. You don't send any money. That's very simple. But the problem is a lot of men are misleading the term of relationship. For 20,000 years, all over the planet, we don't know what is a relationship. It's when a man and a woman spend the nights together, they are playing some sport game in a bed or wherever you want, and they are a couple and they are a family, and that is a real relationship. This is not intended that we will wake up this notion. But this is where a lot of men are misleading because they say, I am in relationship with a, a Ukrainian woman because, because what? Because you are writing someone or something for two months, but you don't know even if it's a man or a woman. Because believe me, a lot of scammers are men, simply. The rule number one is you don't send any money because you don't have any relationship. Because relationship. Remember what I just said a few seconds before? There are no relationship. You never met her, there are no relationship. So you don't send any money. That's very simple. Because you don't have any relationship, you are just in fact pen pal. This is internet who has bought this notion of relationship through a computer and internet. But you are not living with a computer. You just want to have a real woman with you. Simple. So that is the first rule. You don't send any money because you don't have any relationship. Now you will ask me, I have met her. Okay, you have met her. But my question is, do you have a relationship? Have you had intimacy with her? If the answer is no, so my second rule is very simple. You have met her? Yes? No intimacy? No? You don't send any money. No money. Cannot make the second rule more simple. There is only one exception. But the exception doesn't break the rule don't send any money. Because of course, because you don't send any money, you are not scammed. Never, never and never. And this exception is if you have connection with the woman, you should send flowers at least for the day of women in Ukraine, in Russia. This is a very, very important day. So remind this important date, 8 March, every year. You have, if you have great connection with a woman, you have to send flowers to this woman. And of course to her birthday. But maybe you don't know her birthday, but I would say the woman days in all the former Soviet Union are more important even than her birthday. So to do this, you don't need to send money. You choose a company, there are many all over the world, to send the buckets to a place. And you just ask her address. She will understand that you want to send some flowers. And a normal woman will be happy to give you her address. So what is interesting now, you know a real city. For example, I know some scammers in Odessa. They have some profiles in Tomsk in Novosibirsk, in Kazan, that is a uh, city located in, in Russia. And of course, <laughs> the, the flowers are not gonna to land on those cities because of course there are no real women corresponding to your profile. And additionally, the good thing is that sending a bucket, you will check out her address and you can ask to the company, flowers company, to shout a photo of hair and so it will bring you more information and less uncertainty about her. Rule number one, you have never met her, don't send any money. Rule number two, you have never had intimacy with her, don't send any money. My two simple rules, very easy. But the problem is 
a lot of time. You have some question because you are discussing with the woman. Maybe it's a man or woman you don't know yet. You are discussing about the trouble and she is not writing about her passport because she has some issues. She don't have an international passport. So that's true. They have national passport and international passport in the former Soviet Union. So to get out from the country and to travel, they need an international. So you are discussing such type of thing and she's telling you about the price of the visa and she's telling you that she needs money because she lives far from the airport and she needs to take a taxi or a bus. So let's say that she asks you $300 for the passport and she asks you $100 for the visa and she needs a company to help her to retrieve the visa so it's more expensive and additionally for the, to pay the taxi between her home and the city it's $500. Mm, it smells bad, no? Yeah, I think that starts to smell bad. Personally, I'm a pro and I can tell you when it starts like this, that's very bad. Okay, but we are now aiming to the rule number three. And the rule number three is very easy also. <laughs> Very simple. Why are you talking about uh, travel and a problem of visa? And why are you talking about a problem of uh, passport and so on? No, I'm I'm not serious. <laughs> because this is international dating. So if you are not ready to travel yourself, I will be very rude, but just date local woman in new city or around. We talk about international dating. If you are not ready to put your ass in a plane, so maybe international dating is not for you. With those three simple rules, you have solved all the online scams. The problem of online scams has totally vanished. There is no topic here. That's all. But the problem the men have is to follow, to respect those three simple rules that I have given you. That is the problem. And it's all about discipline. Because a lot of men are not enough disciplined. And you have and damn not have to do the work. With a woman, I'm just a normal guy and I have worked all my life. And last 16 years, I worked on me about the woman. You have to do the work, simply. This is not a lottery. There is no magic formula. Now you will tell me, <clears throat> but I have heard about a lot of scam. If I arrive to, to Ukraine or Russia, I will be not safe. I will be scammed and so on. That is another topic, but for the end of the video, I will just explain you rapidly the different scams that you can find out on the soil. That is the bonus of the video. I will give it to you. Please subscribe to the channel because as you understand, this type of video is, is helping foreigners to get away from the scams. More subscribers this channel will have and less people will be scammed in the future. So let's go for the bonus right now. The scam on the Ukrainian or Russian territory will happen through apartments, taxis, translator, restaurants, and credit card. You go there, you want your apartment. You own apartment by yourself. Problem solved. No scam. Very simple. Taxi, you use only Uber or Oakland taxi, any big society, and if she comes with a private taxi, no. If she calls a private taxi, no. You call the taxi, and she puts the address on the application, and that's all, and you pay the real taxi. Translator, 
Translator. This one is a little more tricky. Option A. The woman wants to bring her own interpreter. That's not bad. You propose her, but you have to do the work. You find out in the city two interpreters, and you propose her those two interpreters to choose one. If she refuses, if she still wants to keep with her own interpreters, 100% scam. You just drop this woman right now. 100% scam. Option B. You are dealing with an agency. Now, first, maybe you have gone to this agency because it has a very nice reputation. So you trust them and that's all. And you go with the dating process with this agency because you know them. Second option. 90, more than 95% of marriage agency in Russia, in Ukraine, are just a scam. So, what to do? You bring your own interpreter. Yeah. You will tell me, oh, you are crazy, guy. You need to pay for two interpreters. Yes, that's my tip. You bring a second interpreter. And the first one, in most cases, the lady don't know you, if it's a scam. The interpreter knows the story, maybe she has translated or extracted uh, your money. So she knows your personal story. And she is just inventing all the conversation because you don't understand any Russian. That's easy. So when you bring your own interpreter, you will say, this is my own interpreter. She will take care and she will be in charge of all the interview. So now they are all game because generally the woman and the interpreter are just working all together. So now the game is totally screwed up, 100%. And when your interpreter will start to ask the real question you want to ask and she will have to answer, she will start to be very uncomfortable. And this will solve the fourth problem, which is the problem of restaurant because your own interpreter will protect you. She will check the bill and she will not let go a scam on the bill restaurant. And additionally, she will choose the restaurant. That will happen like this. You will have an appointment. You will come with your own interpreter. And of course you will have a discussion because they know, they know the business, they know all the scams and so on. And therefore you will choose another place right away. You will not enter in the restaurant that the lady and the first interpreter wanted you to go. And so, believe me, the agency will know very quickly that each time you go with your own interpreter and you are just going to screw up their own shitty game, 100%. And they cannot refuse you to pay a second interpreter because you still pay the first one. So they have nothing to say about this. They have absolutely nothing to say. They say, are you not trust? Yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, oh, I'm, I do whatever I want with my money and my life. So you will find out very quickly if the women are legit or not, because your second interpreter will be quite happy <laughs> to enjoy the situation <laughs> and to screw up the game. Because there are a lot of honest people in, in Ukraine and an independent interpreter, the damn know, especially in the big cities and especially in Odessa, what's going on. So, restaurant, translator, problem solved. And now the last one is a problem with credit card, but this is linked with most agencies but there are also some individual scammers who are practicing this. They bring you to a specific restaurant and you will be cheated on your credit card. Maybe this is the establishment himself try to cheat on your credit card. And uh, I did a short video about this. Credit card, why credit card? You pay in cash, no risk on your credit card. In this video, I solved all your problems. Just keep on, have some discipline, and stick to the rules. So I remind you, rules number one, never met her, no money. I've met her, 
but no intimacy. Don't send any money except flowers. The <clears throat> days of women eight match. Third rules very simple. You travel to meet the woman in her country <laughs> because you travel. She don't move. She don't make a move. You don't go to Poland. You don't go to Turkey to Jeep. You go in her country. If you respect those three rules, if you follow also the tips that I have given you in case of infield scams, your chances to be scammed has vanished in a proportion at least of 99%. I would say 99% dot 99%. That's simple, but uh, you have to follow the rules. Uh, you have to stick on the discipline. If you just follow those three simple rules, your chances in international dating to meet genuine, legit, trustable, nice woman will be skyrocketing in an unbelievable proportion. But you have to do the work. Good luck.